Well, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Spiral Flame Productions playthrough of Coffee Talk. I am your host, Knight, once again. And, alright, I'll shoot it straight with you guys. We had some technical delays, some issues, but you know what? It's all part of the process of learning how to do things, right? So, where we last left off with Coffee Talk, we just got introduced to this rather dapper looking elf fellow. And because of my last playthrough, I actually know what, how this is going to go. But let's go through it together, shall we? Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this, I will try to make this a lot more frequent because I actually like doing this. <laughs> Ah, uh, enough of my shilling and being stupid. Let's get to it. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake. With milk. And draw some latte art on top. I forgot this guy's a little pretentious. Alright, so. We need to make an espresso. Which is coffee, coffee, coffee. I mean, no, coffee, coffee latte. There we go. That's the right one. So we need coffee, milk, and milk. Brew that up. And because I'm not an idiot this time, I actually remembered that there is a latte art section. Let's go. Okay, so what should we do for latte art? You know, we could try doing something with them. So we'll pour the milk. Milk. Let's just get a nice amount of milk there. Let's get that etch. And we're going to just This is actually rather therapeutic, and if I'm honest, I might end my videos like this just doing a, a latte art, because it's kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. Let's see. I know this guy's going to hate whatever I draw anyway, so I'm just going to do a soon-to-be addition to this channel. Which is a goddamn logo. It's not looking the best, but it's looking okay. And you know what? First time for everything. Oh, that looks like a wing. What? Hold on. <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm digging that. And we do like that. And up we go. And up we go. And a little more. And a little more. And one more time. You know what? I like it. It's cool to me. If he doesn't like it, that's on him. Yeah, I like that. Here's your order. 
Is this what you call latte art? You can shut the hell up. That's cute. Fuck you. I'll have to censor that part out. Perfect. Well, I'm glad you like it. Anyway, I was distracted by work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. I think we all kind of figured, dude. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you both. I'm Cody. Hi. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? Yes, my guy. I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? <clears throat> no, he isn't. He couldn't keep that with a straight face. But I've dealt with worse clients. <sighs> Sometimes clients are a trip. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. Hashtag has been hotel. <laughs> How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customer the customers this late at night are lost drunks and criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, no, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. I mean, I can throw the hands with the best of them. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you too. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood. Barista. God, I hate that word. I don't know why I hate the word barista. I just do. And it's not... It's just not a cute word. It's not a functional word. Oh, technically it's a functional word because, you know, you can say the word... I'ma stop there. Where are you go where are you going to write? No, oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Yo. I feel that on a spiritual level like 90% of my time. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move our seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. Don't trust it. Do not trust that. Actually, you might want to trust that. It all depends on the boss, honestly. Because a good boss can really, really, really make or break a work ethic. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him smiling so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? 
Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You shouldn't make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> that might be worth it. Yo, just keep it to yourself. You know, you... <sighs> Some people don't understand that you can have an inside joke with yourself about other people. That's how you stay sane sometimes. You should ask Cody here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh uh, yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying clients? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Hmm? So, you gonna get that lure? Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. Oh man, shit's getting heavy. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. Oh. That's no good. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You didn't have to do this, you know? They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. <coughs> Excuse me. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. Oh... Shit. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. You open the can of worms, bruh. You can't, you can't put the genie back in. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Ooh, language. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlived you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. That's a tricky one, my guy. You don't want to navigate those roads. <laughs> and then what? Do you want to be in hiding? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. Oh, societal differences and whatnot. And you won't get permission because you're too old. <clears throat> <laughs> How old is you, my guy? I mean, I know he's an elf, but... He doesn't look more than 20. Three. Ish. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. 
You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then I don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. And that's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. You have any alcohol? I'd want to drink after that too, honestly. Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one. Alright. Bring out the old brew pad. A green tea latte is green tea, milk, and milk. Alright, that's simple enough. Green tea, milk, and milk. Brew it up. There we go. And serve as is. You didn't ask for any latte art this time. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is a pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. Oof. You know, this is me making me rethink playing elves in D&D campaigns. Yeah. At least you have an etern eternity to learn how to change. Or an eternity to be an asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And properly drink myself under the under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. That look on Freya says it all. You are listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early, earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I don't know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. <sighs> Man. That was rather heavy. Especially for episode two. Huh. But I think that's actually where we're going to wrap things up. I really wanted to wrap up this chapter for today, and we successfully did that. Hurrah. Bit of a longer video, but hey, I don't think you guys are going to complain all that much. <sighs> Do yourselves a favor. Head out today. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Sit down and relax. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And remember, don't do anything stupid during the day, because the night can't help you.
Later.